welcome back to our continuing coverage of the PBA Senior World Championships. While we were away, Hugh Miller, nine spare in the fourth. Nine spare in the fifth. His fourth nine spare of this match for Harry Sullins, a strike in the fifth. And then, a difficult lead, but he would pick that one up in the sixth. So we close out the sixth now with Hugh Miller, still with just one strike in this title match. And for the second straight frame, he leaves the seven pin standing. Well, he's hitting the pocket, Rob, but like Shannon Pluhowski on the same side of the lane, the Southpaws have had difficulty striking. Not getting the carry that they were hoping for. Picks up another spare, and here is Miller on the competitiveness of the senior tour. The competition's great. There's there's more good bowlers coming out on the senior tour. You know, Walter Ray next year, and um, you know it's it's tough. The the senior bowlers are good, and the competition's great. The competition about to get elevated. Walter Ray Williams Jr. is turning 50, about to join the senior tour when he feels oh, like what it. What do you think? I think. Yeah, you dropped the 10 and got yourself the second strike, you. And I think that was a ball change. It's a nice move. He finally gets all 10 to go down. A little light messenger, five rolls into the 10. He really still has life. Up now, Sullins, four strikes in his first six frames. Up 19. Drop and give me 10. This is a really big day for Harry Sullins, trying to win in front of the hometown. The old Detroit All-Stars used to bowl here in the arena, and this is where I actually started bowling the All-Stars in 1979. So I've been in and out of the center for 30 years and basically know a lot of the people around here. So it, it's fun just to be here. Uh, you know, I mean, you got to take it for granted. Win or lose, I mean, yeah, I like to win, but, you know, it's... We'll see what happens. Ugh. 10 will not drop. Next Sunday, the Motor City Open. What a loaded field we have. Walter Ray Williams Jr., Chris Barnes, Pete Weber, Tommy Jones, and the real deal Bill O'Neill. But wait, that's not all. Do tell, Rob, what else? You, the CAT system. Well, you got the CAT system, the computer-aided tracking system that will tell you exactly how these guys roll. You have the ability to talk to players for the first time ever, really get inside their heads and get some in-depth info. Looking forward to that show. The greats ever in bowling. Taking the lanes in week number two of our season. So Miller, down 19, begins his effort here in the eighth. We saw a ball change in the seventh, which led to a strike. But he still only has two of those in this match. And Huey looking to cut the deficit to nine. Get up. Jesus Christ. Well, I started a hook and then nothing. Well, Hugh Miller's complaining that he started to hook and then the ball just bailed on him, leaving the two pin. So we take a look at Tom Strobel, the proprietor here at Thunderbolt. Thanks, Tom, and all your staff for their wonderful hospitality. Uh, Tom, good man. Good people. Good times. So no open frame still for Hugh Miller, but his deficit remains at 19 as we begin the foundation frame ninth. But first, we urge you to head on over to PBA.com to check out Extra Frame, the league's online subscription video service. Some of the many features of Extra Frame include exclusive player interviews, some live early round event coverage, pre- and post-match interviews, and the new 39 by 60 highlight show. Click on Extra Frame at PBA.com. Straighter. Oh. Blue boy. Move left towards straighter and at three sevens. Uh, actually, Hugh, it it went three six seven nine. Oh. He missed a couple. 
A lot of pins left. That's all I know. He's down 23, and uh, things are about to get tougher. Well, you know, he went to the, a ball that's less aggressive. He can try to go straighter. It worked the last time on that left lane. He's trying to go straighter. He, he bumps up the speed just a little bit, and the ball never hooks. You saw him do the math after that frame. Not the time you want to throw your first open frame. Look at Harry Sullen's face. He is feeling nothing but emotions right now as he's getting closer and closer to his first ever senior's title. Mm, nice jinx. And really all Harry Sullen's needs to do is mark in either the ninth or 10th frame, but what a time to leave the 3 6 9 10. He's a little over pumped here, grabs this one just a hair, gets a left to target and cuts right through the nose. Could have been a lot worse, could have been a big split. Now, if he covers this, essentially all he needs to do is keep the ball on the lane in the 10th frame, and he's your winner. Ooh, huge, huge pickup. So Sullins in good shape to win the title, and we want to congratulate Ron Moore for winning the 2009 Senior Tour Player of the Year Award. Brian Voss taking the rookie honors. And Larry Graybeal, the Dick Weber Sportsmanship Award. Throw Season starts April 17th, the next one does, in Dayton, Ohio. Walter Ray Williams Jr. may be there. Point two. Yeah. Game over. PBA Senior World Championship winner. He earns the birth into the PBA Tournament of Champions. Get rid of that monkey! So the hardware goes to Sullins. When we return to Detroit, the trick shot artists take to the stage.